What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Hit up Jamie Marsh, Marsh Tuning. It's like, give me all the boost. You turn the boost up on the Evo, and now we're about to take her for a rip around the compound. Make sure all is good. Way too freaking stoked right now. And don't miss the axle clicking noise though, that's for sure. story I'm making an impulsive decision the boys are going up to the Smoky Mountains and I'm just gonna say screw it I'm gonna drive the Turbo S up I feel like I haven't really gotten to enjoy the car because it's all straight roads here and I just really been wanting to take it up there so I'm gonna do it but even though it would make a lot of sense to take it up there with the roof rack to be able to bring more stuff I think I'm going to take the roof rack off for like gas mileage and stuff and uh, it is kind of noisy when I'm going fast on the highway and I gotta drive up through the night so this will be the first time I'm taking it off with a car and like how it looks and everything now. So hopefully it goes well. I hope I have a key. Let the record hold. We're starting this journey with 2,500 miles. Shout out to the man Booth being down to take a last minute trip. Literally 30 minutes prior, Tommy's been bugging me for the past couple days. I'm like, nah, 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 and I'm finally just like, sure. Yo, so do you think that we should go through Jacksonville and then go like through Atlanta? Or do you think that we should go through South Carolina? They're like, this way says faster going through Atlanta. I don't think we'll traffic. Think we should just do that? Yeah, we'll probably go through Atlanta at night anyway. Send it nine hours, what's ETA? Starting route to 151 Nantahala Trail. This is a suggestion. Let's see what it actually is. Checking in, Jacksonville. I think it's like, I have no idea what time it is. Arrival's 10 minutes sooner than it predicted. It's your city, right? Yep. Duval, baby. Duval. Well, as you can see, look here. We were making great time, and then I did an oopsie. Uh, he was running laser, so I had no chance to slow down. I wasn't really going that fast. He's really cool, so hopefully we get off the warning, but... Bro, I'm shaking. <laughs> I've never been asked to get out of the car for a ticket before. I should have filmed that. <laughs> yeah, dude, I literally thought I was going to jail. <laughs> That's I'll be good. honest, we uh, we got pulled over for doing 103 in uh, whatever the highway speed limit is. And now we are gonna go to the speed limit for the rest of the way, Sean. Really? Yo, don't put me on the spot like that, bro. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, I just had to record this. Quote of the night, we're rolling through the hood. Sean doesn't have a seatbelt on. The shit is beeping off the wall. He goes, I can't even hear the beep anymore because I'm too worried about the bitches. <laughs> Boy, there are some good bitches, bro. <laughs> Every time I accidentally wind up in the same spot, the same gas station, we are about to make the journey up the mountain. There's a faster route I could have taken but I figured we'd take the fun route, make the last part of the drive go by faster. Not gonna set up any GoPros, it's gonna annoy it. Covered in bugs, 
Makes some turbo noise. Yeah. Common occurrence here in the mountain. I'm about to experience my first road with a Turbo S. We got a Ranger Danger in front of us. <laughs> absolutely using every square inch of road. It's kind of sick because you'll see locals and they'll see like a fast car behind them. They're like, I know these roads. I'm gonna rip, lose this mother <laughs> While he's smoking a cigarette and drinking a six pack of Newports. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy from the gas station. So the weirdest thing I can say about this and how it feels, I feel like something to do with the all wheel drive is active in the corner and I can feel the front end kind of getting tighter and almost ripping around the corner. But as I expected, the GT3 in comparison, it's a lot more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow because I'm like partial throttle with this thing and slamming on the brakes. It's fast. I'm excited to rip around with M3s tomorrow. So far the max we've pulled is 1.1G. Yo, turbo S's do not sound bad. It sounds like a fucking monster. God, this is sick. Let the record hold. First time person in the Smokies, don't have them hold a the camera. Not a good friend to Sean. Fuck, dude. 3.30 a.m. last night, we roll up to Tommy's Airbnb, literally in the heart of the dragon. Uh, I gotta say, I'm stoked to be up here with these dudes. I pretty much wouldn't drive up here to go hang out with anybody else. Yo, can you tell them the thought process? I know y'all didn't think I was gonna come up here. We were, well, <laughs> What did Grant text you Friday and we're like, yo, let's go to Taylor Dragon. You're like, maybe. And then you're like, I don't think so. Okay, I will. Okay, I don't think so. And then at like 7 o'clock, you're like, I'm coming. And we were like, I've been driving since 10 a.m. already. We're like, cool. So it was like a 14-hour drive for you? Yeah, 14 hours. But it took, what did it take? It's like 15 and a half because yeah. we kept stopping. I think it was like a 10-hour drive for us. So rednex has got his M2. We got the M3 boys. Long time no see. Stoked, Grant? Yeah, man. We had a blast last night. It's gonna be fun. So we got the tail of the dragon to ourselves last night. Not a single soul on it. And it just, I must have just sounded cool. Yeah. Just hearing the cars like, mm. yeah. Rudnick, Rudnick was barefoot. It probably would if they were M3s. No, they sound like <laughs> 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 It's like the worst sounding car. Yeah. My car sounds so bad. Yeah, it does. But I don't buy a car because of the way they sound. Really? It'll probably be the last time we can be up here before the winter, so I'm pumped that I made it up. Literally, I'm gonna double my mileage on this thing this weekend. I've never had this sunroof open because of the roof rack, but it looks so cool here. Florida, there's so much sun that you'd be dumb to open up a sunroof ever. Tommy, if I gotta be behind Rudnick, I'm literally gonna f What happened? Oh my god, the burbles, dude. Oh, really? It's so bad. Rudnick, you gotta turn the burbles off, bro. Sorry, I didn't ask for them. Dude, you're literally like, like feathering the throttle to do it the whole no, time. I swear to god, I'm not. Every you time are. I let off, it just pops for 10 minutes. Dude, we gotta, we gotta well, fix that. Um, we gotta fix that. I have that. to meet us back to Jordan for intake. Bring it back to Jordan, to bro, right now. Purple. Trust Bring me, I know. Back. I don't like him either. <laughs> sure. I'll help you out, buddy. Wow, that's where all your cold air is going. 
What are the odds of the place to go to for lunch as an OEM Plus Civic outside a red SI just like Tommy's? It's a sign, bro. I know, I wish mine was here. That's honestly ironic. You think he, he found you and hunted you down? Well, there's a Honda meet this weekend, that's why we're here. You didn't know about it, we didn't want to tell you and scare you off because you're a Porsche guy. A little too highfalutin for us, you know, but we're here for the Hondas. I have all new appreciation for this thing. I gotta say, the GG3 is an amazing car and the noise and everything, but this thing is just ridiculously fast. It doesn't make sense how good it is. I think the, the Cup 2s I put on it help a lot, but I'm, I'm shaking this car is so good. It doesn't way exceeded my expectations here. I know it's a sports car and I know it's supposed to be great, but I never viewed these cars as like a insane backroads car. It's more of like a businessman's thing. God, look at all these leaves. Tommy said this thing is running rich. I've seen some black smoke out the back. Fucking hot. This is my first time in a Porsche. Oh, they're good. Quick family stop at one of the overlooks. Yeah. You like this road? I want to throw a Rudnick off this motherfucker. Why is it always me? Tommy's has one. Like, what I did I do? You. That's so bad. I hate you, dude. That's not true. She to be fair, Rudnick, you kind of make everything about you. To like, be fair, yeah, we were, I we, make everything about me. We were just me. talking about me, and then you had to jump in thinking yeah, we were talking about right. you. You're right. We should rent some hang gliders. That'd actually be pretty sick. Would you do it? Probably not. <laughs> but I'd watch. Let's build one. Nope. It's your first time here in the mountains? Yeah. What do you think? It feels great. It feels like we're doing nothing wrong. Like, that's how you're supposed to drive those, right? Yep. Okay. This works for me. Hey, you've been, been driving like a 72 year old. Nope. Nope. Really? Nope. nope. Grant, if we were white girls, we'd be in heaven right now. I know, I got pumpkin spice. Dude, just, what are you talking about? Just upload the red button, dude. Hey, man. It's just like the. <laughs> this hey, man. Guy. Wait, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can you say that again? Yeah, can I have a new ankle? Why? Cause my ankle's bad. Don't kick it. What's That'd wrong be real. With it? It's this one. Don't kick well, it. What were you asking about? Always filming you. Yeah, you're always filming me, dude. You're clout you're chasing. You're the star me. of the show. <laughs> <laughs> you're a. C you know that? <laughs> you just tipped it. I was waiting to go and fall into the chair. <laughs>
this thing is so good. Pit stop here at uh, Deals Gap. Gonna throw some GoPros on and get some audio clips for you guys. I'm nervous because I don't want to lose them off the back of my car. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it real quick here and then we'll go back to the normal cam.
I'd say after that drive, I'm content. What do you think, Tom? You're what? I'm like, I, well, I'm still down to drive more, but like I had yeah, my fun. The, tr the trip has been worth it at this point. That drive was sick. I kind of want to chill at night and see like the, when the Nar Dogs come out. Yeah. You know. We are the Nar Dogs. I so. know, but like I want to, I want to see the local Nar Dogs. Oh yeah. Look but at that thing. I know I said this like eight times in this video. I'm blown away. You're selling the GT3, you said? Did you tell them yet? <laughs> in a logical <laughs> world, scumbagged. if someone <laughs> if someone had to choose between the two and they were on the fence, I don't think you would regret it that much. They're different animals, but like the only thing is the Turbo S is so fast that it's it's like a different type of scary. You can like have Miata fun in a GT3. Yeah. That thing you are like on your toes. You're committed. Yep. <laughs> All right, Ferretti. <laughs> Y'all right look like you're about to film a metal music video. Yeah. Put us in slow-mo. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably Mike. in this one. The box. All right, if you can hit that rusty box. 10 grand. All right. You're in? Yep. yep. Oh, it curved. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Here he goes again, catching me in the vlog. Dude, sing that song. Yeah, do it. Do it now, Tommy. Do it now. You do it. <laughs> you ever see him so confident? Yeah, do it. What? No, oh, that out. would have been not good. Hit him in the face with this thing. Knock him out. Use your face. I'll eat that camera. Do it. Do it. Five hundred bucks right now. Crunch down on your lens right now. <laughs> you'll hurt your little teeth. We saw you open that beef jerky. Tell me yesterday. I will. You'll you'll buy my lens right now. Yeah, and I get for, paid for no, it. No, for free. I mean, it's probably gonna break, you but I'll you, do it. You literally think you break my camera with your teeth? I think so. You should. You want me to try? If you I'm don't, not, you will. You get, I'm not you replacing get, it. You no get. Way. You get one bite. If you break my camera, then you You're break good. my camera, and everyone needs to go sub to your channel. If you don't break my camera, you look like an idiot. You You're getting it. Should I try? You're getting you can it. try to bite my camera. Do you think you don't think I can bite down on that <laughs> thing? Do you, Adam, no, I it. think it's way <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's becoming a true scumbagger. We're gonna let you in the bro. He, he literally told me he wanted to bite my camera. I know. I just don't. I think I can bite it and at least do some damage. No, you can, absolutely. <laughs> you can. I have faith. You in know you. what? Never mind. Now I'm second guessing. Uh, and there we have it, folks. <laughs> Every time I pull up my camera, Rudnick thinks it's about him. What were we talking about earlier? You think everything's about you? Here it goes again. Well, we were just talking, and then you happened to just pull up the camera. All right, say what you were going to say. Go so, no, no, no. I was pulling up no, the camera to, to film what? a clip, explain that we're at this nice, beautiful restaurant. He goes, oh, here he goes again. He's going to film every me. Every time you pull up the camera, you shove it in my face. Well, you wonder why when you tell me you want to bite it. I still think I can do it, but it's just inappropriate, especially for here. Every, literally every time I film, you gotta lock your eyes you on me. You said, hold on. You're like waiting. waiting for your shot. In no, the, in the I'm not waiting for dude. anything. Put it on me, Adam. No, that's not what <laughs> Such a cock. What? What do you want? Put it on me, This Adam. is what he does. No, I never have said that in my you life. You said that. Yeah, here you we will. go. Don't <laughs> nod your head yet! <laughs> Look I how never nervous said that! Well. Look at how literally out of his head. Alright, the other day <laughs> running Hold on, the other day running's <laughs> gonna do a burnout and me and Ben are like, yeah, cool burnout, and the wheels aren't spinning. We're like, yeah, keep going. Oh, it's like, are they spinning? I look at Wheels like <laughs> <laughs> We're spinning. <laughs> they were at all. He's like, I didn't know what you meant. That's what He's he like, said. dude, they were spinning. Like he actually thought it was and it wasn't. They weren't. <laughs> Tommy, give a brief synopsis of what we're all watching out the window right now. So, Rudnick, DJ, and Will decided to con a canoe <laughs> across the lake. We thought they were going to not make it into the canoe. They've actually surprised us two times. We thought oh, they weren't going to make it in the canoe. Then we thought they weren't going to get very far and they just took off. You missed so. the two most important parts of the story, the fact that it's 1 a.m. and it's like 30 degrees outside. It's really cold and it's really late. Really windy, too. Look at these crazy... Crazy humans. Stopped at Fields Gap for some breakfast. Get to watch the cars go by. It's my bacon, egg, and cheese. Saw those lotuses? There's no love in that. Yeah, are they like rentals or something? That could be you. All right, how? Are you gonna give me one? You're gonna buy me a lotus? So we had some breakfast. I really liked how the footage looked with that rear mount camera and the audio from it, but I didn't like how the front one looked. I got a little trick towards uh, making it seem a little bit more real and seeming cool, and I'm gonna try it today. We're gonna drive over to Fontana Dam. There's a little Honda Me going on. Tommy wants to go talk about some builds, so we'll go let him do his thing there, have a little fun, and then we're gonna make the trek back. I think I might leave the roof rack off this thing for a bit. 
starting to really grow on me like this. Honda me, quick success. Showed up with my black Honda, now we are ripping back. We're gonna split up with the Dragon, start the journey home. Little data from the weekend. It's the maximum Gs that we hit, not too bad. Mileage wise, we're about 3,500 with still 500 mile drive back to Orlando. And although it may not sound so good to you, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Averaging like mid 80s on the highway on the way up here, it's still got like 20 miles to the gallon. So much better than the GT3 and I know Turbo's gonna help with that. All right, guy.
right guys, I think I'm gonna close the video out here. I know I've said it numerous times in this video. I am blown away with this car. I've definitely found a new appreciation for it. Um, in comparison to some of the cars that I have, I know that you guys will probably wanna hear this. Compared to the Evo, uh, it doesn't have the same rawness of ripping out of your hands when you're going through a corner and kinda like pulling out of control but it kind of has the same Porsche, you're on a roller coaster and you can just hold a bunch of Gs through a corner as the GT3 does with the all wheel drive torque monster feeling that the Evo has. So in that sense, it's kind of like my two favorite cars combined. The sound could be a little bit better, but I hope this video kind of did justice to all the turbo noises that go on that I've never even heard driving normal roads because you hear like little flutter, left, right, left, right. The stereo sounds that this thing makes are incredible. Um, other than that, uh, I gotta say, I do have tires that don't come with the car. I have the same tires that would come with like a GT3 and they make the car on rails like it. I genuinely think this thing would pull on my GT3 if I was driving both cars, but surely because of the acceleration. I think the difference of aero and not having all the downforce of the GT3 might make a difference on some of the really fast sections or like a big road course like Road Atlanta. But in the back roads, I gotta say the Turbo S, uh, definitely is pretty well suited for the mountains, which I didn't expect. I kind of want to take it to the firm now after this experience, because I think it'll put a second or two on the GT3. You know, I've got some mods done to it. It's tuned. It loved the weekend. It acted normal the whole time. And I know a lot of people are wondering, uh, would I want a GT2 RS after the experience of this car? And now if you aren't super familiar with it, it would be basically like having my GT3 RS, but with the engine and power of this car, the difference is it would be rear wheel drive. And honestly, that would be a little bit dicey because I like how this thing has all wheel drive. It kind of handles like a rear wheel drive car through the corners, but then when you are foot to the floor coming out of the corners, the all wheel drive just rocket ships you out. Like I've never been in a car that makes me so nauseous as a driver because you're just pulling the most absurd amount of Gs. Like it feels like a cup car through the corner and then coming out of the corner, it feels like a drag car. Porsche, and slate on this car and I'm mad that I didn't appreciate it as much as I do now. And now I'm sad, I gotta take this thing to Connecticut. I gotta take it back up here again. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I missed a couple days. Service up here has been sparing. I just wanted to make sure I got up here one last time before the winter came. Appreciate you guys. And I think the next time I will see you is for the Irwindale video. Back to FD.